Good day YouTube, down to bricks here. Got another haul for you guys. Pretty excited for this one. It's a real mixed bag. We have a parcel from Bricklink, another one from Bricklink. That one there is from Bricklink. We have eBay and Lego Shop at Home. So we'll start with the little envelope here that is already open. This one was from eBay. Now, it's not actually Lego, but it is for our Lego. And it is stickers. So, actually got some Ghostbuster stickers. Now, which one? I think it will actually be this sticker here. That is for our sign for our Ghostbusters headquarters. So we'll finally be able to whack a sticker on there. So that's what that is for. Actually, he's chucked in a little bonus sticker there, some Jurassic Park one. So that's pretty cool. So that was from eBay. So they'll make the missus happy, she's always wanted that sign finished for the headquarters so we can get to that. Uh, this one here is from Bricklink. This one's from the States. Um, the store name was 167 Pilot. So So, just some pieces. There was one main reason I went to this store, and that was to get this fig. And who can guess what that's for? I'll give you one guess and one guess only. <laughs> okay, and of course, while I was there, I just uh, checked out. What else he had, and oh, very, very cool. He actually had this general store piece from one of the old Western sets, and that's the general store. So, I already have that set, and um, it's good to have another one so I can expand on that set a little if I ever want to add in another window. When I saw this in his store I actually looked for the frame because this is only a five high um, door frame or window frame and he actually didn't have any in his store so I thought I was just getting that um, trans clear piece with the sticker but he actually sent the whole surround so that that's pretty cool. There is some bubbling on there and he did have that in his description it's not in the best condition but still good nevertheless all right we also I'd never actually seen a dish like that in trans clear before so don't know what I'd use that for but I thought that was pretty cool and there's just some other trans clear pieces um, just your two by two rounds, uh, some bottles and glasses, and I did get these little cog pieces that I used that I changed up on the Halley carrier. These ones in grey, so I did pick up four of those as well. Where do we go next? We might actually do the Lego. Shop at home. So this is a pick a brick order. So what I might do is actually just get that out of there. Okay. 
Okay, so we can actually see what I got. Nothing too exciting in here. Quite a few pieces though. Can't remember off the top of my head how many it was. Did get quite a few of these 2x2 two two light bluish grey tiles. That's just um, for our train track and whatever else. If we expand it, I'll have a few more of those. Uh, yellow flowers. Some little tree plant pieces. Some dark green. I love this dark green colour. I love that as a tree colour piece. Some white door frame. Some printed slopes with the computer screen. A few brown or reddish brown 1x2 tile. Some white picket fences. And some white slopes. 2x1x2 two by by two. and that's about all she wrote, oh hang on no, did get those turntable pieces in white and some whatever you call these angle bracket type pieces, some of those there, uh, a clock, there's few clocks in there some of these normal green leaf pieces and now that is it for that alright uh, ok I think we'll go on to this one here this is from a Australian Bricklink store that was called Aussie Minifigures. So this um, this was actually a good find. This store he had a lot of old collectible minifigures in the old older series, and they actually weren't too badly priced. Uh, a lot of them were still around five bucks, is what we pay here in Australia for them. So they're still at five bucks. Some were even less. Um, so all in all, there was some really good pricing there. Oh, look at that. So this is a real minifigure haul, this one. Excellent. Okay. So, I've actually been going through one of the minifigure encyclopedias, and I'm seeing some really cool minifigures there that I like. So I found a couple in his store. So I might take these ones out. These are from... I think these are from the late 90s. I'm not exactly sure, I forget now, I'll have to have a look at that, but that is the Black Ninja. So I think that's that's pretty cool. We've got the Black Ninja and we have the Grey Ninja. That's pretty awesome too. Oh, that's pretty deadly, isn't it? Got a bit of a headband on there. That's pretty, pretty deadly. Okay, so this couple, you got this guy here. I'll get them out of the packet so we can see them a bit better. If I can get out of the packet. All right, now. I was actually just going to buy this torso, but the actual whole minifigure was only like 50 cents more or something than the torso itself, so I just grabbed the whole figs. He's got some good hair. It's actually a pretty pretty cool minifig all over. I really like that torso piece with that jacket. And that's pretty cool. I did get a Mars Mission Space Guy. He was pretty cheap. He's a bit 
a bit marked up there on the legs and he's a bit grotty. How cool is that dude look? He's still got half his lunch on his shirt. So a lot of these mini figs that we got will just be for the city just to um change things up from the standard figs we get in the modulars and city set so that's pretty cool ah here we go there was a really cool mini figure that I could use in me western town but uh, I thought he was in this store but it must have been another one that's still on its way but this guy did have this bloke which will be great for the western town I'll probably change him up a, a little bit but he's pretty deadly too some really good figs here let's get rid of those so all of these actually sealed collectible mini figs so I'll rip into those it's going to be pretty exciting I got a little SpongeBob piece my son's got a mini fig he plays with all the time and most of the faces come off so I'll be able to replace it with this one a couple of these mini fig heads they are actually the same Oop. the same head but it has printing on both sides some reddish brown hair pieces now I think this is from a character in Harry Potter I thought that was a pretty cool looking piece let me just uh, Chuck that on a fig, see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Crikey. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Now, we have here. What have we got? Let's sort this out a little bit. There is three Series 6 figs. Two Series 9 and we have four series seven so my wife's going to miss out on all the fun here I'm going to open up open them up right here and right now all right let's do this okay we have here a Space Trooper of sorts. So I, I do like these space minifigures that we get in the collectible minifigure series. So I've only got a couple in the past. So this is one I can add to our collection. Let's have a look at the face on that guy. Awesome. Haha, oh, okay, this was the dearest one. And I could have sworn I actually had got this minifigure before, but blowed if I can find it. Doesn't that look dead? I really like this armoured printed PC in the silver. That looks really cool. So that's a Series 9, I guess. Let's work back in time. We'll do seven. All right, in our city, we do have the female tennis player. So we thought we would just add the male, but the printing pretty good on this guy, these printed shorts so that'll be a fig 
for the city. Okay. Now you might recognize this figure too. There's somebody's sig fig. And of course, that would be Mardi Gras Man 2 3. But I didn't actually purchase it for that because I already have his sig fig. But I really needed a white cape. This guy was a fairly good price as well. And of course, you get double side head printing so I'll be able to use that head in the city and the hair piece so I'll be able to make up another fig with that alright how good is this having the ball another space guy alrighty let's see if I can put this one together a bit quicker So, oh gee, I really like this one. He's really good. Look at that printing on the shoulders of the armor. Got the old classic space logo. So, not much on the back going on. We've got that nice silver printing. So, pretty cool. I think we've got one more. From series seven. Ah, okay. This is for me to be able to make another sig fig, and I don't even think you guys are going to need any help on this one at all because it's the legend himself, Brixar. Well, not quite. He will be soon though. And that is all of Series 7. I'm saving the best to last. So, this is Series 6. And this is Skater Girl. The skateboard with printing on it. Sweet. And that's a good looking minifig too. Even has makeup, so that's pretty cool. Wife's gonna like that one. Okay. All right, here we have the mechanic. So another very good torso is actually leg printing as well. First time I've seen these obviously so just having a bit of a look myself but that's a good outfit there I can have another mechanic in our servo but of course this hair piece will be for Brick Adjuster's Sig Fig alrighty so hang on we got one more How good is that T-bone? Oh, makes me feel like a T-bone now. And a cleaver, so got some very good accessories there. But with that torso, that printing on that figure, they'd be, be able to use that quite a number of shops. So 
one day will have a use for him. Alright, well that's all the mini figures. Let's go on to a set. Now, if you have been watching my hauls, I've mentioned a couple of times that I did purchase another older Star Wars set. And I've been waiting on this one for quite some time. I think, I thought it may have got hold up in customs, but I'm not too sure, but it's a bit beat up, so it's been around the tracks. So actually, it's been about six weeks since I ordered this. It did come from the States, but uh, that's uh, six weeks. That's a bit excessive, but glad to have it. I was starting to get a bit concerned. He's got here open this end. So he's got a custom box, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty. Now, this was a new set, and check that out. I have it at last. The Bounty Hunter Pursuit set. What set's this one? This is 7133. So, I have seen this set before. I've had it on my wanted list for quite some time, but it's been one that I've sort of passed up numerous times at, at certain prices. I thought it was a bit much for it. That's a, a cool, cool figure. So I'll be looking forward to do a watch your building with that so I can give you guys a better look. Now this was a new set. It was in a heavily damaged box. So I just told him to take it out of the box and ship it to me in the bags just to reduce shipping. So it was very, very good of him that he actually just folded it flat for me. So I still got the box, so I can still check that out. And on the back, they give you alternate builds, but I'll give you a closer look at that. And I watch the building, but uh, they would have been loose in the box. He's put them in a clip seal bag. But other than that, these are sealed Lego bags. And there's the printed pieces. And wow, they look fantastic. So, super pumped to get that. Got a little extra bit there. Some Oh, that's the rubber bands for it. Okay. All right. Well, that's everything. So, it's a little bit... Can't really lay this one out. There's just so much to see. But you got to check all that out. So, tell me what you think. It's been a pretty long haul, this one. How long has it gone for? Crikey, over half an hour. Gee, sorry about that. Um, I'll have to edit the guts out of this one to try and shorten it up a bit. But thank, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.